And you talked to, you know, to summarize the rise of authoritarianism, uh, that democracies provide space for, for NGOs and media to hold governments to account, to respect human rights. But I'm wondering right now in 2021, are, are, are Western democracies, including Canada, doing enough to ensure human rights are enshrined in their foreign policy? You know, no, in a word, Kyle. Um, and, you know, almost all of the big Western democracies say that they value human rights as an important element of their foreign policy. Um, but I don't see consistent action. And, you know, Canada, for example, has been more outspoken now on China. Um, but, I, you know, I'd love to see Canada playing a more consistent role, you know, rallying support um, for human rights and around some of the, you know, the big issues, whether it's Saudi Arabia or Egypt or Russia. Um, I can say the same thing about the European Union. I can say the same thing about the United States. I mean, you know, Biden came into power and says, you know, human rights are going to be a guiding principle. And then he makes these massive arms sales to Egypt and he, you know, meets with Putin and has this virtual summit with Xi Jinping and, and you know, says, I talked about human rights, but we have no idea what he said. And it makes no difference whatsoever because, you know, nobody feels the heat. No, no particular issue is mentioned. And, and so, you know, yes, there are countervailing interests, there are economic interests, there are, you know, security concerns, but I, I fear that there are many governments that, you know, while paying lip service to human rights are doing far less than they should to build a world where, where human rights for, you know, of people are, are safe. And um, Canada, you know, has an, a, a renewed government now. It's in a very good position to play that kind of leadership role that we've seen it play now in China. And I'd like to see that extended.